Hi guys, it's Lizzie. If you didn't already know. <laughs> oh, let me just get myself a glass of wine. So for tonight's viewing pleasure, I'm gonna be showing you all the Killstar clothes that I have bought over the past couple of months, which has honestly been too much and I have nowhere to wear them. <laughs> so I just thought it would be a fun video to make. And uh, I'm drinking Menage a Trois Midnight for the very first time. I like to try wines that sound kind of uh, gothy. <laughs> so let's pour this bad boy. This nice big glass, which I got at the doll hair store, and there's some ungodly gook on the outside, but I never heard anyone probably. Let's see what this tastes like. <sighs> Looking for blackberry. Tastes like wine. I mean, it's good. I like it. Uh, if my teeth turn purple, don't you mind. It's pretty smooth. It's not like, gonna gag you. Like, I don't like those ones that it hits your throat and you're like, ah. Okay, so anyway. Um, so first, I'm going to show the smaller things, such as earrings. These are magical. <laughs> they are called Heaven Scent Earrings from Killstar, as I said. They are pyramids with triangles on the top and little onks. And I'm sure these things are something. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip that. <laughs> but I don't, I don't remember what those are. But they're really cool. They're actually only like eight bucks right now. So I would grab them if I were you, because I already did. And these are called the Black Rose Earrings. They look like little um, obsidian or something crystals. They're not actual crystals. And they have cute little rose details on them. Which is pretty, I think. And then we have rosary earrings. I wore these so much when I first got them. They are huge. Love them. Love them. You can see how big and they show even if you have a lot of hair, which I do. Next are necklaces. And we'll start with the rosary necklace, which matches those earrings. So next, we have the sleepy rose necklace. I am also wearing. It's a coffin with a little sleeping bat and roses. That's so sweet. Don't you just love bats? Oh, yeah. Still trying to see if I can taste blackberry. I mean, I guess kinda. It mostly just tastes like wine. Mmm, I'm going to use yet. Anyway. Next, I'm going to move on to belts, of which there are three. I'm one of those people who would always see people's belts and admire them, but I never really had many of my own. So I've just, uh, within like the past year or two, started buying belts. And I went ahead and splurged and got three a few weeks ago. The crucifix chain belt and it's hard to hold it up and show you. It's very jingly. Lots of like <sighs> if I can explain. You just well you <laughs> so something like this and then like you put it around your waist and like so and, and you jingle because like 
I swear, Brock loved to jingle. I love to jingle. When I'm all jingly, I just feel like I'm magical. And then next, what's called the Xena Onk Belt. And honestly, people go wild when I show this <clears throat> online or in person. Well, I only wore it out once, but everyone was like, oh my god, where'd you get your belt? And I posted a picture in um, this Facebook group, which is really cute. If you like vampires, you should join it. It's called This is Vampire Propaganda, if I've ever seen it. I love it. There are so many adorable vampire memes and pictures and people showing their selfies, like, kind of amped out. And so I decided to do it one day wearing this, and everyone loved it so much. So this is, again, the Xena Onk Belt. Um, get it while they have it because we're never gonna see something like this. It's amazing. It looks really good on. Belts really help make an outfit. They pull it together. So, accessorize witches. And then last but not least, in belts. This is a moon rock belt. It's also quite amazing. I know it's not flimsy. It's quite sturdy. The hardware is sturdy. This isn't just gonna break off. I mean, this isn't like the thickest fake leather, but it's thick enough. And it fits like a range of waists, I think. It can even fit around my hips and I have huge hips, so it will fit a range of sizes. And maybe no one, we're gonna have another drink of them. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do skirts. Oh, I love skirts. I don't wear pants, at least not outside of work. I might soon. I ordered actually some PVC pants that I've been wanting, but I pretty much just wear skirts and dresses. Called the Whispers Maxi Skirt. Still the tag because I haven't worn it out yet. But I'm so glad that with this lighting, you can see like. When, when you look at it on the website, it doesn't seem that exciting, but it is beautiful. It's got moon. It's got moths with little skull faces. It's got whatever. So, but that's not all. It has these high, lovely slits. Or is it just one slit? <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's like this flap in the front here. And so it'll show your upper thighs kind of when you walk. Very sexy. Um, I'm not one to really have long skirts, so I just started getting into them. I thought they looked dumb on short girls or myself, but recently I like them now a lot more than I did. So I have bought several next. The next skirt is called Synth Suspender Skirt. And this is actually on sale right now, or clearance. I feel like people are sleeping on this. Um, so it's got uh, suspenders, and they are removable, so you can wear it without. And it's a nice, thick, but stretchy fabric. So if you're like me and get bloated sometimes and gain a couple pounds, it, it'll still fit. <laughs> it's got buckles. Which we like, don't we? And then this side detailing area is mesh. So you'll just see like an ounce of thigh, upper thigh, which is very sexy. And little pleats on the bottom. Pleats! So I got this to go with a certain top, which I will show soon to be a sort of military fashion show <laughs> type thing. And next is the Cassandra Velvet Mini Skirt. I've been wanting this for a long time. It was sold out forever and it's a like crushed velvet fabric. Again, stretchy, stretchy. Stretchy is my favorite because my weight fluctuates everywhere. It has sex, doesn't it? And then it's got these beautiful garters. I always wanted a little clippy type of garter. 
So yeah, that's the custom skirt. Get it while you can. And the next one is Guardian's Lace Mask Skirt. This one is also on clearance. That's why I got it. Like, I like to get these on clearance. Because then I feel like I'm getting more. More stuff for less money. But actually more money because I keep adding clearance stuff to my cart and then it ends up to a lot. But whatever. It is always lace, 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 lace. Now even though it's clearance, the only size they have left is extra small. Um, extra small is not usually my size, but it fits my waist very well. But like squeezing it over my bum and my thighs is a chore. <laughs> I'll be sweating like, oh, I can do it. Jesus, take the wheel. And then it works. Um, so it's a maxi skirt. It's quite long, quite rough. On it. It's very beautiful. Get it? Uh, moving on down to Roses Are Dead Velvet Maxi Skirt. Ooh, that wine is hitting me. <laughs> So, this is kind of like the first one, but not. It has a beautiful burnout print, I think that's what they call it, with roses and skulls, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, this one doesn't have slits, however, um, it's very fitted at the top. It will fit your hips, like it will squeeze you through here very tight and then it flares out at the bottom like mermaid style and it is so flattering it is so gorgeous and then the last one <laughs> it's actually so much cooler than the website it's just like okay whatever um but it is so awful my bff also has it we unknowingly bought it probably around the same time not knowing so i don't care if other people get the same clothes as me it doesn't freaking matter Besides, people go this fast fashion anyway. Um, so, other people are gonna have it, and I don't care because we're all beautiful together. Beautiful bitches! So, um, it's got very high slits and cool ass little buckles. It's hot, so my glasses are sliding down my nose. Don't touch it. Hot. Yeah, blind. That's a wonderful skirt. So, next we're gonna do the tops. So, let's take a look at the one. This first top is called Squadron Six Shirt. He spelled six like S I X X. It is from my little military ish line. This is the one I got to go with the that one skirt that I said was like a military skirt. I got this to go with it. So it's that stretchy fabric. Let me see what we got. It's rayon and nylon and elastane. It's thick. It's sturdy. It's not gonna rip. It is stretchy AF girl, okay? If you're small but boobily like I am, it will fit you pretty well. Um, and it's got a little tie that you don't have to wear with it. It just button snaps on. A little snap a doodle. Um, I like it with. It's adorable. And then the buttons have little skulls. <laughs> That's cute. Next, what was I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> tops. Let's have some more wine, shall we? Is that highlight on the sleeve or what? That's lime crime, by the way. If you want a really good highlighter, lime crime. Okay. Next, we're doing the Sirena, Sirena lace top. It's spelled C Y R E N A. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm trying to show you on a hanger. It's kind of weird, but. It's cold shoulder style, that's what it's called. I didn't make it up, cold shoulder. And then up here at the top, you tie this so it'll be kind of like a choker type thing. And then it's got my favorite, wizard sleeves! <laughs> I love big sleeves. I try to get everything with big sleeves that I can. Oh, I just love them so much! Ever since uh, junior high, these big kind of, 
sort of came back into style because back then like hippie ass shit came back in and while I'm not really into hippie fashion so I was in sixth grade for some reason I wore bell bottoms um I like the sleeves so they're big they're beautiful and it's mostly see-through except it's got like a little boob sensor bar if I can show that let's see it'll cover your bosoms and that's it Next we have Fortune Lace Duster. Now this isn't technically a top, but it's also not a dress. It's... I kind of thought I was ordering a dress when I bought it. I was just like, oh, I want this. It was sold out at first. And then it came back in stock. I was like, oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. If you like lace, get this. It's got the wizard sleeves. And um, it ties here and opens up. This is the kind of thing you wear, you know, when you're with your 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 on your chase lounge, talking on the phone, and you've got your fluffy little slipper shoes on, and then suddenly you get a phone call that your rich husband has died under mysterious circumstances. Oh, love! It's wonderful. And then we have the I Am The Night halter top. It's backwards. I wanted this for so long. I think there's like some other random company out there that mimics the same thing. They might be from China or whatever. But I think this one's better. Uh, so it has a beautiful moon cut out. <clears throat> they call it a halter top. I don't really think it's a halter top because usually halter tops are backless. It's not backless. As you can see, not backless. But it's got, like, it's higher up at the neck in the front than it is in the back, so I guess it's definitely a halter top. So, yeah, this moon is adorable. I love it. I love moons so, so, so much. And one thing that I love about Killstar is they have so many moon themed things. This is called the Siege Halter Top. And this is the one that I got to go with that one skirt, which was called the Division Maxi Skirt. This is also on clearance right now. It is not very much money. Um, it's a lot cooler on than you think. It is technically a holder top. It's really cool, okay. Things that are like strappy are really attractive. This goes around your neck, so you don't gotta wear the collar. And then, uh... <laughs> just kidding. Oh, cold shoulder again. That's my favorite. Three quarter sleeves. The little scully buttons again. It has like a military-ish feel, military fashion show, if you will. Not real military, obviously. And it's very flattering. Again, that stretchy thick, nice fabric. This is a nice fabric. It's very soft. People are like, well, I can't start because they're too expensive. You know what? You get what you pay for. You buy shit from China, it rips. It tears. It falls apart in the washing machine. This shit is going to last you. I also like cheap shit from China, but I also really like <clears throat> nice things lately. So next, we're going to do Dresses! I'm sorry this video is going on forever, but let's take another drink of wine! I'm roasting toasting in here. I'm a hot little potato! Why is wine making you want burp? Um. So next is the Heather Baby Doll Dress. It is velvet. Okay. I love velvet. It is the most majestic fabric. And honestly, it's just a very simple baby doll dress. It's got ruching, 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 whatever that word is, up here. And yeah, that's it. I mean, the lace little cap sleeves are really cute. And then little bow and little, little buttons. So that's that. Like, I would wear that to dinner or to Walmart. Our next dress is called Kyra Maiden Dress. Oh. 
the wizard sleeves, you guys. The wizard sleeves! Beautiful. <laughs> and it kind of like opens up. It's not fully closed. Ooh. It's got like a slit. And they just flap and dangle in the wind. Quite lovely. And it laces up in the front. I'll show you a boob crack. <laughs> really, really cute. Velvet again, but this one's crushed velvet. It's nice. It's lovely. It's got lace on the bottom. It's amazing. This is the Zoe Shift dress. This is one of my favorite dresses from Killstar that I have on. It's not quite wizard sleeves, but it's like fancy vampire sleeves. They're really lovely. And all this junk right up in here, <laughs> let me tell you, it makes you feel like a sweet little vampire. Oh. I love it. I really wish that it had lace on the bottom, but it doesn't, but that's okay. And then the next dress is called Dead Silent Shirt Dress. I don't know why it's called a shirt dress. I guess because it kind of looks like it. It buttons up. They're all the way down. It has lace down here. It is cold shoulder. It laces up corset style in the back so you can fit it to your waist. And um, a collar. Lace detail up at the top. It's very cute, in my opinion. Or the camera. Makes me a ghost. And next we have Violet Lace Dress. I wanted this for a long time. It's very, 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 very flattering. It's velvet. It's lace. It's everything we like. Uh, three quarter sleeves. <laughs> it's stretchy, 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 everything stretchy. It zips in the back. Um, kind of a sweetheart neckline, I guess. And then a lace collar up the top. So it's kind of like you're wearing a choker, but not. So, 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 so flattering. I went on a date with this Canadian man <laughs> at a casino because it's like the only place that's open. Nothing came of it, but um, everyone was like high fiving him and telling him good job, and I was wearing this dress. So it's a good dress, okay. It will bring you good luck. <laughs> and the last dress, Beyond Dawn Maiden Dress. I don't think they have this anymore. Yeah, it's gone. I got it when it was on clearance. It was like $20. And then they thought that after they sent it, they thought it was sold out when I ordered it. So they refunded me. And I was like, what? So I got this dress for free. <laughs> It has a pattern, some pentacles, can you see that? Okay. It's got pentacles and swirly whirlies. This is the only part that's see-through, the rest is not see-through. So if you're worried about that, it's not see-through. And it laces up here at the boobies. So again, you can show your cleavages if you want, or you can tighten it so you don't have to. It's got the next thing, cold shoulder. I really like that. And wizard sleeves! <laughs> that never gets old. Let's have some more wine, shall we? I don't have a problem, you do. <clears throat> so, next I'm just gonna do like odds and ends. I got this um, headband, which is called Chloe Chaos Headband. I hadn't gotten another hair accessory in like years and I kept seeing spiky headbands I was like oh I have to get one so I got this and it's wonderful it's quite movable so it'll fit a range of he skulls and heads <laughs> and these kind of bend so they're not just gonna break off they just stay there and you may have seen me wear it in lots of photos because now that it's my newest hair accessory it's all I wear now. <laughs> I need to get more. 
you hate that when you get everything you just keep wearing the thing and wearing the thing and you look like a reason? I hate that. That's why I buy clothes and I buy accessories and buy shoes because I don't like wearing the same thing over and over again. At least back in the day when I used to go to clubs before there was a virus killing you. <laughs> anyway, the next thing that is a thing it is the Gravedigger Skull handbag. They have these in a variety of colors. Most of them are velvet, except I think the pink one is like just the plastic or whatever it is. It's smooth and shiny, but the rest is maybe velvet. <sighs> I love velvet and I love wine red, so. Wine burp. <laughs> I got this guy. I named him Frederick or Fred. It's funny, uh, I was in the car with my best friend, and I was like, what should I name him? She's like, Fred! And I was like, oh, Frederick. So that's his name. It's close to human size, but like, bulbous. If you draw over it, Dave. He's quite large. That's why I got him because the purse I got before him, I got it because it was cute, but it's not functional. It doesn't fit much in it. And I'll show you that one later. I do love it, but it's more fun. Um, but this guy actually has quite a bit of room. My wallet is huge. It was a birthday gift a couple years ago from my ex-fiance. And that's a fitness. It's quite loud. And it fits in here. There's a whole bunch of other crap. Girl, I got gum. I got a mask, which my roommate got me. Isn't it cute? Um, a pepper spray. Sunglasses, spray hand sanitizer, more gum, another mask, a hand lotion, another spray sanitizer, a Dr. Pepper lip smacker, a Dragon Ball keychain. <laughs> so, a uh, limited edition calories come. Oh, there's my dragon ring. I was wondering where that guy went. So it actually does fit quite a bit. And I fit my phone in there on top of it. So it's basically a big human skull, but kind of bigger without a brain, that you can fit on top of my lens. And it can be your shoulder purse. Or you can switch it out and be a little hand purse. Or, wait, hand handbag. <laughs> so, it's quite wonderful. I love it. And next, we have... Oh, okay, so, like, I've never been a crystal person, but I fell in love with rose quartz. It's pink, you guys. It just grows out of the earth pink? <laughs> what? How did that even happen? That's magical. Most things aren't just naturally pink besides flowers. So... I'm not a crystal person, but I really liked like the shape of their crystals, and yes it is real, and they have other ones, but this is quite lovely. If you like crystals, you know, for their aesthetic even, like me, I recommend theirs. They make them quite a lovely shape, and each one is different obviously because it's natural. And it's kind of pointy. You can stab a bitch if you want to. Don't touch me. So, that's nice. And, lovely stocking. Where are the stockings? These are Killstar Thigh Highs. The first thigh highs I've ever gotten from them. They are very, very stretchy and very nice. And I will try to show you the pattern. It's not like typical lace pattern. It's kind of unique, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll show them on my legs sometime. And yeah, they're very stretchy. I have huge thighs. Okay, and they fit. I could fit this over my head. They stretch so much. So these will fit a range of sizes. If you've got big thighs like me, don't be scared. These will probably fit you. And there's the mistress tights, which I am currently wearing. So, 
That's what makes my leg. <laughs> my leg pits are sweating because they're so hot. Um, these again are very stretchy and they're very long too. So if you're short like me, you can pull up to your bosom. If you're tall, they'll fit you. Because they're awful. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh, the Ari Crescent tin. Again, I love moon. You can see another one in the background. It's like a happy cute moon. I don't remember what it's called, but my roommate got him for me for Christmas. I love him so much. So this one goes in that little spot. It's bare on that shelf. Nick and Alan Kilt. I think that's it. That's all. Oh, bonus. They're creepers. I got these for Christmas as well. I've never owned a pair of creepers myself before. This is the same print as the that maxi skirt. What was that? Roses are dead print. <laughs> it's the same print. It's beautiful. It has cat hair. Everything's gonna have cat hair. Because my roommate and I both have. I have a cat and she has cats. Cats, cats, cats. <laughs> the golf sorts nightmare. I'm never getting any more animals again after that one dies. So anyway. It's got ribbon ties. Um, their sizes run, in my opinion, a little big. I'm a size six, but I'm actually kind of between a five and a half and a six. No, no, I'm something between a five and a six. So my best choice would be five and a half, but there's never five and a half. So I get six. And sometimes they feel like a glove and sometimes they're a little big. This is a little bit big for me but not in a horrible way. I can still wear it. This is the first pair of Killstar shoes I've ever had. They're wonderful, they're beautiful. Um, I hope you somewhat enjoyed this. <laughs> I will try to make my next one a little shorter. My next one will be House of Widow haul and that's that. Be the goth bitch you always wanted to be when you were a teen, or child, or whatever. Live your spooky dreams. Okay, bye! <laughs>